Hey guys. It's hot today. I am getting ready to drive to the city. I just picked up my drinks. I got an iced tea. Sorry for the faces. I make weird faces. So I got iced tea because I didn't eat lunch yet. It's like 12, it's almost 12.30. It's probably gonna take me about a half an hour to get down to the city. I'm running a little late. I was gonna try to get my eyebrows done, but the line was like so long, it's not, it's not gonna work. That's okay though. Big eyebrows are in, right? <laughs> anyway, not that you guys are here to even hear about my eyebrows, right? So I am about to get ready to go to the Amy Tan class that she's doing in the city. It's gonna be super fun. I'm so, 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 so excited. So hopefully, maybe I can get her to do a quick hey, shout out to you guys for my channel. And I'm gonna try to do a couple of little small segments while I'm in um, the class when she's not teaching. So you guys just see what I'm working on and stuff. And I'll do a, I'll do a flip through at home when I'm done, so. I hope you guys are having a great day and I am going to get going so I'm not late. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Just like when you do YouTube videos. <laughs> right. <laughs> Except for the people are I standing always there do and... voiceover because I save a bunch of stuff I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> That's all really good. So, I, so this is how I designed the stamp, you guys. And believe it or not, palm trees are really kind of hard to paint. <laughs> I like to do palm trees like in stages. <laughs> yeah. I can move a little bit. Watch to see better. <laughs> So there. So once that white dries, I think it'll be nice and kind of thick and so it's Hey my scrappy friends, so I wanted to get this video out for you guys. I didn't get a chance to get it out last week. I was feeling really sick. So instead of taping and filming with a sick person, <laughs> which I am sure you appreciate, even though germs don't pass through camera, um, I would do it this week now that I'm feeling much better. And I just wanted to let you guys know I had an amazing time at my class. When I am done with my album, I will share it with you guys. I'm not done yet. Um, I can tell now that when I go to crops, I will be one who probably talks and watch, and sees what everybody else is doing more than what I get done, which is fine because I think that part of the reason why we go to crops is for the relationships that we're building. So hopefully at some point, all of us YouTubers or people who watch us on YouTube can all get together. I know um, I was listening to the camera and Jen and Danny were talking about maybe trying to figure out something in maybe Arizona around like um, a scrapbooking expo or something like that. So that would be totally fun. I don't know how easy it would be for me to get to anywhere on the mainland but you know i think as long as we plan something ahead of time we can get as many people together and it would be totally fun to get together and scrap and hang out and chat and really just have that that face time that we really love uh with scrapbooking and stuff so 
But I met quite a few amazing ladies at the the class and hopefully I'll be able to get together with them. I mean, I know like everyone, we're all busy and it's hard to get together. And, um, but one of the ladies who I sat next to is actually, she does a lot of stuff for the craft store. And so I know that they do like, uh, crafty things on weekends and stuff. So I'm going to see if maybe that's something that I can get to every once in a while, just to get together with other crafty ladies and stuff. Um, so I had a ton of fun, like I said. Uh, Amy Tan is amazing. So watching her at that class, it really made me see how fun <laughs> having a job in the industry could be. I mean, granted, I know it's not any job that you turn from something that you love is going to have conflicts. And you have to figure out if it's a right fit for you. But it was just really fun to see how she does it and how um, she has been given the freedom to do a lot. Uh, she had her son with her, and that just made, to me, that just said a lot about that company and the fact that they let her have her family with her when she comes to events. I mean, he behaved perfectly, which is really tough. I mean, I know I have three kids, and... It's hard to get them to behave for any long period of time. But it, it is just really fun. And it's amazing how her like her mom comes to the events and helps her with her son and helps her stamp stuff. And it's just amazing how much support that she has. So I, I feel like just prefacing anybody who has a desire to be in the industry, you know, find out one, if it's something that you really, really, if it's that's what you want or if it's just connections with other people. Because I know... I do what I do because I want to inspire you guys to be better scrapbookers, but to get your family stories down because, you know, when we go, we want our family to remember our family legacy and heritage, and scrapbooking is a great way of doing it. There are a lot of other ways that we can do this as well, but scrapbooking is a great way to do it because pictures and words can mean a whole lot to family members. So that is why I like to do what I do. And that is why I share. And so, um, you know, the thought that maybe one day I could do something more with the industry would be great. But really, and all when it comes down to it at the end of the day, if I am writing down my family stories, that's really that all that matters. So, but in order to have something more, you have to have um, your family and your friends behind you because if they're not, then it's going to be really difficult. So anyway, back to what I was saying. This is totally off topic. I was not planning on topic. So while I was at my class, uh, I wasn't able to do a whole lot of filming. One, time just passed so quick. I was so surprised how fast five hours went. I mean... It was like a blink of an eye, and it was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, we did a lot of mixed media stuff on our cover. I mean, I can show you. This is my cover. It's really pretty. So we just took the cover, and we, like, did stuff to it. So, uh, and that pretty much was a lot of what she was showing us how to do is alter the front cover, or, like, the cover. And gesso and paint take a long time to dry. So... You know, five hours goes really quick when you're waiting for paint to dry. Uh, I know a lot of the ladies did amazing jobs on their cover. I mean, mine is me, which is what I wanted to walk away with something that was me. So uh, when I get more done on the inside, I mean, I have a little bit done. But as you can see, I don't have much. I did get to play with the mink. And let me tell you, I didn't think I wanted the mink. And now I kind of want it just because it's like super, super cool. I don't know if I paid for it, but I mean, she gave a lot of free, like someone got the mink that she brought. Uh, she brought the fuse, which is something that I definitely want to invest in in the next few months. I think it'll be really fun for like December daily stuff because you can make your own pockets. So awesome, awesome. So back to the class. I wasn't able to get a a shout out. I was able to get an extra stamp set. 
Amy Tan made this for a company called Sako. I'm not going to say it right. Sakura Lala is maybe how you say it. So this is a store that is based in Hawaii. It, I think they're in the city, but it's an online store. So I will make sure I link them below. They're the ones who hosted Amy Tan in the class. And Amy Tan specifically made this stamp set for the class that and the store that that hosted her so I had a time she you know came up with the designs for this stamp set and they were selling them I believe that they're either out now or gonna be out like sometime this week so they will be selling them in their store if you see it and you really like it it is a super fun so the stuff that is on the stamp is Ohana means family in Hawaiian um, Aloha is hello and goodbye and I love you. And then mahalo is thank you. And then there's just a couple of other little fun sayings. And then she has a heart. And then this is a snow cone. And she didn't, uh, she was explaining that she didn't know how to do the bottom part. So she just did it like a cone. So you could make like an ice cream cone out of it too. But it's supposed to be a snow cone. And it is super cute. The dots that I have on here are made with that stamp. So I did this with the stamp and acrylic paint. So it's super cute. It would look really cute with that. Um, so this is a really fun stamp set. They had extra, so I bought an extra one because we also got one with our class, like with as a free gift from the store. So that was super awesome, awesome of them because these are amazing. And in my video, you seen. Amy actually do this in watercolor. So what she did is she watercolored these on like a piece of paper and then had them be made into stamps. So that's how she does things. She does it digitally. So anyway, not that you guys care to know, but I thought it was really cool. But I had her sign. Let's see if you can see this without the sun shining on it. So I had her sign this for you guys because I want to do a giveaway. So here's a thing that says, hello, or hey, Hannah Lemieux fan, you rock. So Amy was really cool. I didn't tell her to write that, but, you know, she's awesome. And so um, I know she does YouTube videos, so she support, She wants to help support other people. So she thought this was a really fun idea, too, because I told her that I was gonna, what I was going to do. I also am going to give this away with this because I'm just awesome like that. And these are amazing stickers, and I love them. But I really feel the need. I are like I already had to before the class. So I'm gonna give this away as well. So these two things will be given away. And what I want you guys to do is make sure that you are subscribed to me. Uh, I want you to go and try to think how I want to do this. So you have to be subscribed to me. I want you to leave a comment in the comments below on what your favorite Amy Tan collection is. So let's just do it that way. So leave a comment on what your favorite Amy Tan collection is, and I will pick a winner this weekend. So today's Tuesday, so Saturday I'll pick a winner, and I'll post to one, and I'll try to message you, or you can message me so I can get your address. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to be doing another giveaway, but stay tuned for that. So talk to you guys later. Bye.